Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials in a vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 27, and I'm going to discuss the divergence of the curl. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstutorials.com. So the previous video to this, which is relevant, is number 26, where I discussed the curl of the gradient. So this is pretty similar. Of course, it's zero at all times, and it's quite simple to prove. So let's say we have the vector a, which is going to be a sub x in the i hat direction. It's going to be a sub y in the j hat direction and it's going to be a sub z in the k hat direction. We know, of course, that an Abel operator is a vector operator with del del x in the i hat direction plus del del y in the j hat direction and finally del del z in the k hat direction. All right, so what I want to do next is take the curl of the vector field A. So I'm not going to insult your intelligence, I'm just going to write down the answer for the curl of A. If you haven't done this before, look at video number three where I discussed how to do the cross product. So what we're going to have here is del del y a sub z minus del del z a sub y and that's in the i hat direction. Then for convention that I like, I put the minus sign here and we have del del x a sub z minus del del z a sub x that's in the j hat direction plus del del x a sub y minus del del y a sub x in the k hat direction. So what's left for us to do is to take the divergence uh, of, of the curl. Now note of course this is going to give us this is going to give us a scalar field. Okay? So let's say we want to take the divergence of the curl. So the divergence of the curl of A. Now just because it'll get a bit, uh, it'll get a bit painful. What I'm going to do is just do it in one dimension. So I'm just going to do it in the i hat dimension, and I'm sure you can see that it'll extend to all of the dimensions. So to take the divergence. So what I need to do is operate del del x in the i hat direction on what is what is in the i hat direction. So that's del del y a sub z, and it's also del del z a sub y. Okay. So that's what we get there. Then in the j hat direction. We're going to get del del y operating on. Uh, I'm going to swap this minus sign straight away. So del del z a sub x minus del del x a sub z. That's in the j hat direction. And finally, in the k hat direction, we're going to have del del z on uh, del del x a sub y minus del del y a sub x. So the identity or kind of the fact which upon which this all hinges is let's say we have del, I don't know, let's say del A, del del B. That's going to be the same as del del B, del del A. Okay, so for example here where we have YZ, that's the same as ZY. Or operating on, operating with the first and then, then swapping the order. It changes, it doesn't change. So that means we'll say here, let's look at um, A sub Z, right? So here we have del del x, del del y, and a sub z. And here we have minus del del y, del del x, and a sub z. But you can swap the order of the partial derivatives and you won't change the answer. So we, that, that there will cancel. Similarly, we have del del x, del del z, and a sub y, of course, minus. If we look down here, we have del del z, del del x, and a sub y with a positive sign. So this and this will cancel. And similarly, this and this will cancel, giving us a net result of zero. Okay. So the whole point is that the divergence of the curl of any vector field is always going to be zero. So the divergence of the curl is zero. That's something you should write into your brain and because uh, it'll be useful. So that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And you might also visit universityphysicstutorials.com.